What's up comic book readers? Welcome to Too Many Comics. I'm your host Eric and today we are taking a look at a title published by Image Comics. Huck by writer Mark Millar and artist Raphael Albuquerque. Huck is the story of a broad-shouldered simpleton gas station employee with a heart of gold and superpowers like strength, speed and the ability to find anything with instinct. The backstory of the character is simple at its heart but will be driving the plot thread. Huck was left as a newborn on the porch of an orphanage with a note that read, Please love him. The narrative begins when his good deeds bring him to the world's notice as new neighbors advise the press of this hidden gem. From there on, his journey of discovery to find his true family begins. Millar is most famous for taking the superhero genre and twisting its tropes with narratives that readers are unaccustomed to. In this book, what he achieves is bringing forth what many of us love about superheroes. It is not about their powers, but what lies beneath, their personalities, their heart, and their willingness to help others. What he does here is flesh out this principle to its bones and present a superhero that thrives on his desire to do good. His kindness and generosity are also portrayed throughout the artwork. There is a richness to Albuquerque's art that eases the storytelling and hooks the reader. The colors bring forth the warmness of the characters and the absence of scratchy lines smooths out the reading. Just like Huck, the panels are beautiful and elegant. While having its flaws in the narrative, I really like how Josh McAuliffe summed up the experience of reading Huck in a review he wrote for We The Nerdy. He writes, Huck is like the comfort food of comics. It's overly sweet and probably not good for you, but is undeniably enjoyable and is a little bit of a guilty pleasure. In the end, isn't it always refreshing to read on something positive, on someone who brings a little light all around him, on a hero that makes us dream of a better world and where good deeds can make a change? Well, this is it for this video and until next time, keep on reading.